Hi students, we're starting dictation with our common dictation reminders. Remember that you should try to write as much as you can. Of course, you're not going to be able to catch every word from every sentence, and that's really okay if you can't catch all of the words. That's why you're here, is to improve your ability to listen and interpret spoken American English. Remember that we always practice the sentences multiple times. The first few times, you'll hear the sentences fast, using my reduced spoken American English. If you can't catch it, wait until the second practice, when we're going to be slowing the sentences down, using our more clear pronunciation, and then making comparison between the clear pronunciation and the reduced pronunciation of American English. Remember to be patient. This is a difficult skill to improve upon. Um, also remember that this isn't about speaking like me. This isn't a pronunciation activity. This is about adjusting your ear and improving your ability to listen to and interpret spoken American English so that you can easier, so that you can have an easier time understanding people um, at your child's school, at your work, at the grocery store. Are you feeling ready? Let's begin. All right, today we've got six phrases, four of which are sentences and two are questions. So at the end of your dictation, you should have two with question marks at the end. Let's start with our first practice. Remember that this first practice is fast. Number one, he doesn't want to travel to Minneapolis, but I don't know why. He doesn't want to travel to Minneapolis, but I don't know why. He doesn't want to travel to Minneapolis, but I don't know why. He doesn't want to travel to Minneapolis, but I don't know why. And don't worry about your spelling of Minneapolis. Number two. How far did you get on your work? 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 Come to number three. I'm going to be getting ready as soon as possible. I'm going to be getting ready as soon as possible. I'm going to be getting ready as soon as possible. I'm going to be getting ready as soon as possible. Come to number four. I don't know if she's going to come. 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 Number five. What do you want me to get you? 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 And our last one for today, number six. She's got to go to the doctor on Friday. She's got to go to the doctor on Friday. She's got to go to the doctor on Friday. She's
She's got to go to the doctor on Friday. Always, we come back one more time to each sentence. Remember, don't let yourself get too stuck on any particular phrase. If you can't get it after listening three or four times, move on. Number one, he doesn't want to travel to Minneapolis, but I don't know why. Number two, how far did you get on your work? Number three, I'm going to be getting ready as soon as possible. Number four, I don't know if she's going to come. Number five, what do you want me to get you? And finally, number six, she's got to go to the doctor on Friday. Okay, before we jump into our explanation and reviewing the reductions of the spoken English, go back over, read your sentences, review your punctuation. Remember, two of them should have a question mark. Two of them were questions. The other four should have a period. Take a minute to pause your video, look over your sentences, and then come back. All right, number one was probably the most difficult. Um, it's definitely the longest sentence in this practice today. He doesn't want to travel to Minneapolis, but I don't know why. He doesn't want to travel. He doesn't want to travel to Minneapolis, but I don't know why. We have a few different reduced pieces in this sentence. When I pronounce my word doesn't, you don't hear the strong T at the end. You hear doesn't, doesn't. The S does, making the sound of Z, doesn't. He doesn't want to. He doesn't. He doesn't want to. My phrase of want to, reducing to the word wanna. Wanna, dunno, these are similar to our word of gonna, where these are considered acceptable for writing in informal English. Um, I send a text message. I send, um, I'm talking to somebody on Facebook, on WhatsApp, on any other technology. Um, these are considered acceptable for written. However, in academic formal English, these are considered unacceptable. He doesn't want to travel. He doesn't want to travel to Minneapolis. You hear my to Minneapolis becoming a held back to, to Minneapolis. He doesn't want to travel to Minneapolis. And my phrase of don't know becoming don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. He doesn't want to travel to Minneapolis, but I don't know why. It's acceptable with or without the comma. Because of the word but, we can use a comma here, or we can leave out the comma. Number two, how far did you get on your work? How far did you get on your work? How far did you get on your work? You hear my word of did and you. Whenever we have a D and a Y together, it becomes this sound of J, J. Instead of did you, we hear did ya, did ya. Did you go last week? Did you need some help? What did you do? What did you do yesterday? What did, she, what did you think? What did you think? Um, other words like told, told you, I told you, I told you that. Could you, could you, could you help me? How far did you get? You don't hear a strong T on get, you hear a held in get. How far did you get on your, on your work? How far did you get on? How far did you get on? How far did you get on your work? Your, your. 
held back instead of your work, your work. Number three, I'm going to be getting ready. I am going to be. I am going to be getting. I am going to be getting ready as soon as possible. I'm going to be getting ready as soon as possible. I'm going to be getting ready as soon as possible. You hear the I am becoming I'm. Going to becoming gonna. I'm gonna. And Different ways I hear people pronounce this word of getting, getting, I'm going to be getting, I'm going to be getting, and there's almost nothing here for the D or the T. I'm going to be getting, getting ready. I'm going to be getting ready, getting, you hear my D, I'm going to be getting ready. I'm going to be getting ready. Because as ends with S and soon starts with S. These two words will link together. When you have two consonants, one at the end and one at the beginning, and it's the same consonant, usually they will link together in spoken English. As soon as, as soon as. I'm going to be getting ready as soon as possible. And remember again that this I'm and gonna can also reduce to this really bad pronunciation piece of I'm gonna. I'm going to be getting ready as soon as possible. Sometimes also this as soon as possible will be shortened in writing to ASAP. And people will speak it ASAP or ASAP. For example, I'm going to be getting ready ASAP. I'm going to be getting ready ASAP. Come to number four. I hope number four was a lot easier for you than numbers one, two, or three. Number four, I don't know if she is going to come. I don't know if she's going to come. I don't know if she's going to come. My don't know, again, reducing to don't know, I don't know. She is making my contraction of she's. And going to, reducing to gonna. I don't know if she's gonna come. Number five. What do you want me to get you? What do you want me to get you? What do you want me to get you? You hear my what do you? Reducing to this phrase of what are ya, what are ya, the T and the D pulling together for one single D sound, the strong U reducing to ya, what are ya, what do you want me, what do you want me to get ya? Because I have the N and the M, which are formed in the same place of my mouth, my want me, I want me you want me they want me this strong t disappears because the n and the m are so close in my um, pronunciation the location where i form the n and the m in my mouth so my natural inclination is to take away the t and combine these words they want me they want me to go you want me. What do you want me? What do you want me to get you? Finally, this get with the T and the Y. When we have a T and a Y together, it becomes this sound of ch. Ch. For example, don't you, don't you? Can't you, can't you? Get you, get you. What do you want me to get you? Difficult this one because we have these three different reductions. Finally, number six. She has got to go to the doctor on Friday. She's, she's got to go. She's got to go to the doctor. Blah, blah, blah. My tongue is all twisted on this one. 
She's got to go to the doctor on Friday. She has, making the contraction of she's, got to, reducing to gotta. She's gotta. She's gotta go. The strong T in two, becoming this held in D for duh. She's gotta go to. She's gotta go to the doctor. Blah, blah, blah. My tongue is all twisted. Go to the doctor. She's gotta go to the doctor on Friday. All right, one more time, each sentence. Number one, he doesn't want to travel to Minneapolis, but I don't know why. Number two, how far did you get on your work? Number three, I'm going to be getting ready as soon as possible. Number four, I don't know if she's going to come. Number five, what do you want me to get you? And number six, she's got to go to the doctor on Friday. All right, that's the end of dictation for today. I hope I'll see you later. See you next time. How'd you do on this dictation? How'd you? How'd you do on this dictation? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know which one was the hardest for you, which one you'd like to practice a little bit more of. Or let me know if they were all feeling easy for you, too. It's always good to look at your success as well as your difficulties. Finally, my student told me I'm supposed to tell you. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. Have a good day. Bye.